today's the day, y'all. The twins are in stock. We're gonna drive an hour. Let's go. Here we are, y'all. They should be in here. I'm so excited. Let's go. Box, actually. Cool. <laughs> Thank you. Let them. So I had to come to a different store because the last one was like, we can't get them from the back. And I'm like, they're in stock on the app, please. And they said no. So I went to this one and I asked him to look in the back and he did. I got them and they're so beautiful. He actually pulled all of the ones they had in the back. It was just two though. He pulled them out for me and he was like, do you want to see all of them? And I was like, okay. Um, and he's like, are you sure you don't want to buy both? And I was like, I'll leave them for somebody else. It's okay. Thank you though. He's so nice. So yay. Now we have to race home. If you see this video on the 16th on Wednesday, it is a miracle <sighs> because I have to go home, film the entire video, edit it and like put it up within like an hour and 30 minutes of when I get home. We're gonna go for it though. We'll see what we can do. Sorry, the, the shadows in my face are crazy. Anyway, bye, see you when I get home. I'm so excited to open the twins, oh my God. Hey everyone, it's me, X Canadensis, and today I am so excited because I got the new Rainbow High twins. I have been so excited for all the new Rainbow High releases. I'm really surprised that just an all new set came out before any of the leaks that we saw came out, but regardless, I am so stoked. I love these dolls, I love their new face mold, and I've been through an ordeal to try to get them. On Saturday, I actually was going to get them, that was going to be the video for Saturday. I did a full toy hunt, I went to six different targets, every single one would tell me to go to another target. They were like, they're in stock, but we can't get it from the back, but if you go to this target, they should be able to get it for you. And they sent me on this wild goose chase, and eventually I was so far from home that I just decided, you know what, I'm just going to go home. I'm just going to go home. Um, and that almost happened today too, I actually went to one target and he said, hmm, can't get it from the back. Even though they're in stock on the app now, so there's no reason not to, but it's okay. I understand. They're just doing their job. So I went to another store just to see maybe they'll do it, and they did. And he was super nice about it, and I really appreciate it. And I am so excited because these dolls are beautiful. I love their new face mold. I love their color schemes, and I love that we're getting some twins, and I think they're amazing. So I'm very excited to open them up for you guys. Also, do you like this new little corner? If you haven't seen the video, yesterday I did a video of me setting up this corner, and there's definitely gonna be more videos setting up the corner. All right, um, I'm trying to figure out how to open this without ruining this package, because this package is beautiful. It looks like a little suitcase, super adorable. All the foiling is kind of coming off on here. It's okay, I'm hoping to buy another set new in box, which the, the person who got them for me did, he was like, you can get both if you want, and I was like, mm, cause I don't wanna stop someone else from getting them on day one, you know, um, and also, I'll wait till I have more money and it's more financially responsible, but I would love to get a set of these to reroute. All right, and they're pretty easy to get out of the box. So their names are Laurel and Holly. So Laurel is the one with the red hair and Holly is the one with the blue hair. And it even shows you like the their colors because they have, they have like the cool and warm colors of the rainbow as their color schemes. And there's the box. It's really cute. It's totally reusable. And then the art of them is absolutely beautiful. I love the character art for these. And it says, whenever something happens, major gossip leaks or someone gets cut, these devious twins are behind it. One is fiery and one is cold as ice. And they always bring double the drama. And then it says it in French and mm, maybe Spanish. I don't know. <laughs> anyway, I'm going to put the box right here. And let's get them out. I'm so excited. Look how beautiful they are. Um, we're going to start with Laurel, who is the warm colors of the rainbow girl. I really appreciate that they did, uh, I guess they are, no, they're fraternal twins. I appreciate that they did fraternal twins because most of the time when there's twins in a toy line or any kind of kids media, they're always identical twins. Um, and these two have different eye colors, different hair colors, although it's probably not biological. The, the hair colors probably aren't biological, I mean, but still having different eye colors, I believe qualifies as being a fraternal twin, but I'm not 100% sure on that. Um, anyways, are any of you guys twins? That's like a fun little bit. Um, my stepdad is actually a twin and then his, his twin brother has twin children as well. I think that's kind of fun. Um, oh my gosh, their hair is so soft. I guess I'm not used to this just because they usually come so harshly gelled, but this is just really nice curled nylon. It's really beautiful. With a quick brushing, with a wig brush, I think it'll look really, really good. It's a little messy right now, but 
People complained so much about the hair gel that it looks like MGA listened and stopped putting so much hair gel in, which I didn't mind the hair gel personally, but I understand that it must be kind of frustrating, especially for children, to open up their brand new doll and not be able to play with it immediately um, because the hair is so gelled and you gotta wash it out and wait for it to dry. Um, here is Laurel, by the way. She's so beautiful. I love her brown eyes. I really appreciate that she is another character with brown eyes. I believe she's the third one. It's Karma, Kaya, and now this beautiful, beautiful girl. I love her. Oh my god. I love the new face mold, by the way. The new face mold is absolutely beautiful. Oh my gosh, look at her! Her lip color is really nice too. I believe they do have the same lip color. God, she's pretty. I love the makeup also. The makeup's really impressive. I wonder who did the makeup for this line. If y'all know, let me know. Um, the choker's super cute as well. I love that they have jewelry. That was one of the things with Rainbow High that I was a little bit um, disappointed by. Not necessarily that it was like a deal breaker, but I thought it was weird that almost none of the dolls came with any kind of jewelry. And if they did, it was earrings, which is kind of a default for dolls at this point. But nobody had like a bracelet or a necklace or even like a purse. And these dolls have earrings, necklaces, purses. It's they're expanding the line and I really appreciate it. These outfits aren't my favorite. I know they're based on a specific designer runway look, but have you ever seen those people that come to school with those bags that just say like Cosimo, 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 Cosimo over and over in the same font in different colors all over the bag? Or the shirt or the hat or whatever it is. That's what these remind me of. I do like each individual piece, but together they um, aren't my favorite, but they are based on specific high fashion looks, so I totally understand. And the thing with Rainbow High that's so special is that every single doll has come with so many pieces of clothing that I'm going to be able to customize this one to, um, to my exact liking, and I think that's going to be fabulous, and I'm very excited about it. God, she's pretty, by the way. Um, so she has our earrings here and our earrings here. It seems like they're big fans of their school, Rainbow High. I love the hairstyle also, it's super, super pretty. And the rooting pattern is really impressive. It just looks really cool. She's really, really beautiful. Oh my gosh. And then her choker is white and it has R's on it as well. And then she's wearing, um, it's like an off the shoulder top, <laughs> off the shoulder top with big puff sleeves. And then it just has normal tighter long sleeves. Oh my gosh, her, um, look. She has different colored painted nails. That's so impressive to me. Just the the attention to detail that um, MGA's dolls have are seriously impressive. And then her shoes right here. I believe these are um, shoes that we've already seen before. Um, but none of my dolls appear to be wearing them, so I can't 100% certainly tell you that. But they do look familiar. I love them, though. I don't mind reused molds because it's like, I love this shoe. Now I have it in a new color. Oh, and she's so pretty. And the best part of these dolls... Not, not the best part, but the best thing that these dolls introduced to the line is that they have expanded mobili mobility. So let's see. Yes. So now they can rotate their heads. They're on ball, or they're on like an uh, anchor joint now instead of just being on this flat joint. So I'll show you with my Amaya here. She can't tilt her head at all. She can only do left and right motion, which is very limiting when you're trying to play with or take pictures of your dolls, actually. Like, it's a big loss. But these have full range of motion. They can look up, down, they can tilt all around. It's really, really cool. And then also apparently they fixed the knee problem. Yes. So originally their knees, let me just pull my other Amaya. Their knees don't meet despite looking like a double joint. And now they get a little bit further. They still don't meet, but it's definitely further and it's definitely a step in the right direction. And it's really, really nice. Look at her hair. She's so pretty. Anyway. Um, <laughs> So yeah, here is Laurel. I really, really love her. And let's see if she or her sister is my new favorite. Set her down right here. And then we'll see. So next we're gonna get Holly out of the package. I will be right back. All right, now Holly's out. First of all, I just wanna get this out of the way. People have been complaining nonstop that she looks like Amaya. Um, and I'm like actually mad about it now. They look nothing like at all. Having blue as a base and then having multiple different colors isn't exclusive to Amaya, and Amaya's colors are completely different. And this doll, especially in person, absolutely does not look anything like Amaya. Oh my god, she's so pretty, by the way. The new face bolt is amazing. I love the crystal blue eyes. These seem like a new eye color, to be honest, because they have a crystal blue, green, and purple in them, but I'm not 100% sure. Are your eyes new? Oh, her eyes might actually be new, too. They're brown, but they have, like, a red to yellow in them. 
So it still has like the spectrum. Oh, look at that hair. Amazing. It still has like the rainbow spectrum inside. I'm not sure if those are new eyes. I'll have to look closer in a little bit. The hair is so soft again. It's so nice. I love nylon hair and look at those curls. It's amazing. Nylon's actually really impressive to me because with My Little Ponies, I'll have ones from like the 80s and I'll boil their hair even though it's all frizzy and horrible. I'll boil it and it will magically go back to its original hairstyle from 40 years ago. Nylon is an incredible type of hair so I'm so glad Rainbow High uses it and that's why I don't think we need the um well the hair gel I think they're gonna hold their hairstyles just fine if you know how to take care of them the hair colors are also amazing just like her sister so pretty and she has H's instead of R's so they they're really representing like Rainbow High but also her name is Holly so it also represents her so she has H's on her black and silver choker whereas hers were white and gold just like the the, the thing that she reminds me of, and please forgive me for this, first of all, their names are almost Yanni and Laurel, if y'all remember that. And then also they've got the white and gold and blue and black dresses on. <laughs> um, I don't know if that was intentional, but that's forever how I'm gonna see it. Um, her makeup is absolutely beautiful as well. I really love it. They even have like glitter in the inner corners of their eyes, which I have not seen before in a doll, um, which is so, so pretty. And her makeup is really cool as well. And I do love the lip color. It's the same as her sister and people are complaining about that, but I think both look really good and it also brings them together more because eventually these are not going to be the only dolls with this face mold, I hope. So, uh, yeah, anyway. She's got the big bow puff sleeves, just like her sister. It's the exact same shape, but instead, um, it is black and blue, but it's got like blue foil that goes to green to purple, you know. Um, and then her shoes are the same as her sister's, just in the opposite color spectrum super super pretty oh my god these dolls are incredible i'm so glad i was able to get them i've been like foaming at the mouth about how much i want them and i've been so excited and they're beautiful oh my god i love them and now i'm gonna get their little accessories out um each one comes with train cases and purses and earrings and all kinds of fun stuff so i will be right back hi so we're back so i've got them on their stands and i wanted to show you that the stands have actually been updated so they are still the same height and overall have the same appearance, so they'll still look cohesive on your display. You're not just going to have an issue. But let me take Miss Laurel off her stand for a moment and show you that the clip is totally updated. So now you can actually pose your dolls on display. There was this big issue before that the stand was so bulky here that the dolls had to be kind of displayed like this if you didn't have their arms up just because of the, the shape of the stand. It was just so thick. So now they've updated it where it's much thinner and easier to wrap around the doll. I really appreciate that. It wasn't even something anyone was asking for, I don't think. So that was really cool of them to just go ahead and fix that for us. Oh my gosh, look at them! Ah! Okay, so now I'm gonna show you the train cases for each character. And the coolest thing is that they're actually different for each one. So, um, Holly's are silver to match with her silver color scheme. And then Laurel's are gold to match with her gold color scheme. Just, well, they're, they're the same acrylic, but they have the different painted details as the hardware that's so sweet I really appreciate that and these dolls don't come with extra outfits that's the one thing that is a little bit disappointing so these dolls don't come with second outfits which is the one thing that's slightly disappointing to me but it's totally fine I get it they come with all these different extra accessories instead and the train cases I love and I have so many extra outfits anyway including there's a whole like closet place that coming out with a ton of um extra outfits just like the one that Avery had except it's separate from Avery and it has more outfits and stuff in it. Very excited about that playset. But um, instead of having extra outfits, they come with the train cases with extra earrings, extra shoes, and they come with little fabric sewn purses, which I love. I haven't seen these in doll lines since, really since Bratz, to be honest. Um, MGA is like the only company that is not afraid to do this. So here is Holly's. It's so cute. It's got an H as the clasp and then it opens up with Velcro and you can actually get inside. There's just a little um, packaging piece to keep it looking, um, keep it looking like there's something inside. You can't really put anything that the dolls come with in here, but imagine if you had, like, little cell phones or something you could put in. It's super cute. And they are the same, except Holly's has a black strap and Laurel's has a, um, like a brown goldish strap. Very, very cute. I love these. These are really fun and they're gonna add so much to the dolls. I never thought I would be saying that I wish there were more purses with dolls. I almost never like doll purses. I think they're annoying. I think I have a million of them and I never really even use them. I don't display them that often unless they're really interesting like with Monster Never After High. They just get, they're just kind of a lot 
you end up with so many but i've been missing them since rainbow high so i'm glad they finally come with them again and then i have the combs here they still come with combs cute i like it um and then we're gonna open up the train cases and see their little extra accessories so first for laurel we have the earrings which are tied down so you just gotta cut the little tie and then they're free i love that they come on a little earring display that's really cute um, they even say like rainbow high on the display and you could totally if you are careful Sorry, let me get in here if you're careful taking this off you could reuse this display Repeatedly with whatever earrings you have and I think that's super fun So their earrings are the same as the previous rainbow high earrings that we've seen. They're just the gems inside of the little um, brackets, but I honestly prefer oh, there those go I honestly prefer this style of earring. Um, I think it's cuter. The studs. Well, they're, they're pretty big for studs, but you know, they're, they're basically studs. And again, you can just pop the old earrings right in there and then you have those. And you could like, you could set up a store, you could set up their little bedroom, whatever you want. It's super cute. I really appreciate when packaging details like that are um, reusable. It's fun. Sorry, trying to get these in. I have a little bit of trouble with these. Um, rainbow high earrings but they do sit in pretty securely there we go so here she is with her little stud earrings i prefer them i think they're really cute okay and then that's her first case and then her second case has these shoes inside which again i'm pretty sure are reused which isn't a problem again i don't have a problem with it it's just they look very familiar but they might not be because i'm seeing something on the heel that i don't specifically recognize but it could be wrong let's get them out of here Gotta cut the ties and then they're free and then your train case is just good. You can use it. Um, and here they are. They have little gold painted um, toe caps. I don't know what to call that. Um, and they have two different colored bottoms on the shoes. So you have the pink to red and the yellow to orange. Very cute. And they have these little hardware details on the heels which are very interesting. So they look a lot like um, other Rainbow High heels but they don't look exactly alike because of those little details. Um, so even if they are reused, I don't care. Personally, again, I am all for reusing accessories if it looks good with the toy. I don't mind. Um, here are Holly's earrings. They are purple and they have silver posts, of course. I'm not going to take them off and put them in her ear just for the um, purpose of keeping time. And then here are her shoes. Let me get them out of here so I can show them to you. I think I prefer these shoes. I just don't generally like um, toe shoes with like straps. Um, usually I prefer just pumps and that's what these basically are. I, I like the blocky heels a lot too. These are super cute. So these ones have a black base with silver toes and then silver hardware on the heels. And one has a um, green to cyan to almost an indigo but like a dark blue. And then this one goes from indigo to purple. These are awesome. I really like these shoes and also because of all the different colors on them, you could use them on any of the dolls with their outfits and I don't think um, it would be overly obvious. And then here are her little train cases. I really love that they have the subtle differences. It's so cute and it's something that I didn't expect and I did not know um, was going to be the case. So my final thoughts. I love these. These are some of my favorite Rainbow High releases, some of my most anticipated ever since they didn't even really leak. They just kind of happened to us. Um, Ever since I first saw them, I was absolutely smitten. I think they're amazing. I love their new face molds so much. I think the new face molds are so good and I'm so glad they're doing this because MGA almost never does this. Bratz didn't have different face molds generally. I think there might've been a few exceptions to that rule, but the main Bratz line, they all have the same face molds. Same with OMG, they all have the same face molds. So to see Rainbow High doing this, listening to the fan reception is awesome. I really appreciate it. We don't have any information on these girls' ethnicity, but you can let your imagination take you wherever. I personally think that this uh, new face mold looks a lot more Asian than this face mold, um, the original face mold, and I appreciate that a lot. I'm really curious if they're gonna change any of the face molds for the original characters. See, this face is like, it's more slender and the eyes are shaped differently and um, it's it's not something you can super tell on camera, but the lips, the way the lips come um, come out of the nose is very different. I was noticing when I was looking at them here, it's, it's like, I don't know, this part. <laughs> is shaped differently <laughs> and I can't fully explain it to you guys. I'm sure somebody has um, done a full in-depth review. I don't really know how to like um, diminish face facial features that distinctly, but regardless, even if these dolls had the same like 
hair color. I truly think they look so different just because of their face molds. I think that these dolls look very different and I really appreciate it. I'm so happy with it. Um, I saw a lot of the fans were upset with the new face mold and I don't understand why. Even if you don't particularly like the face mold compared to the other one, the, the other one's not going anywhere. We're just going to be getting new characters with new face molds. Hopefully this is the first of many. I'm very excited to see. And um, these dolls specifically make it so clear that the the designers the company are listening to the fans and that is amazing um they're listening to us saying we wanted more jewelry we wanted purses we wanted the stand i mean i'm assuming somebody must have said the stands needed to be fixed the stands needed to be fixed we wanted the articulation fixed um we wanted the hair gel out all of this stuff and it's getting fixed for us and i think that's just wonderful i really appreciate it um i'm so happy and these dolls are great and I cannot wait to add them to my display and add them to my collection and take pictures of them and give them new outfits. These are wonderful additions to my collection and I can't wait to meet them in the show. I know we got a peek at them in the um, in the final runway show episode, but all we saw was them just sitting there blinking and they looked so beautiful though. I was so happy to see them. Was not expecting it either. Uh, so yeah, <laughs> that's it for this video. Thank you guys so, so much for watching and let me know which of the twins is your favorite and why. I think honestly this one, I've just always really loved warmer colors, even though, well, when I was a kid, this would have been like the ultimate doll for me because I just loved red so much and I really love the mixture of colors in her hair and the way she evokes fire. Um, but now I'm more into cooler colors. Like I generally prefer green. Green's my favorite color now. Um, but this one just really draws me in. I love the way her eyes look with her skin tone and with her hair. I think she's just absolutely exquisite. Um, but what do you think? Which one's your favorite? Let me know. Uh, and with that, thank you guys so, so much for watching. For real this time. Bye. <laughs>